It's the Have a Good Night Show, episode six, with my fucking special guest, favorite DJ. Big Shake, Bobby Trent, Shake the Block. I'm in the building, baby. What's up? DJ Bobby Trent, I'm excited baby. to be here. Yes. Mm-hmm. So tell me, bro. When you on the way, when you was on the way over here, are you listening to your your own mix? Um, I try, I try to, but my phone's always ringing, so it's hard to listen to anything. Do you listen to any other DJs? Um, and be like, nah, I could do better than that. <laughs> I, sometimes, sometimes, but but rare. I I don't. I I try to listen to up like whatever albums are coming out. Okay. Because back in the day, I used to really listen. And then pick what I thought was the fire shit. Oh, wow. So I'm trying to get back to that because the label's always saying, no, it's this one. I'm, and I used to be like, no, it's not. It's that one. And usually I was right. So so before they used to force the music on you, now it's just- They still force what, the music on well, you. Well, they still force yeah. the music on you. <laughs> so like, I, you know, I want to have creative control of what I put out in, on, you know, in the clubs and stuff. Do you remember the first party you DJ? Yeah. Uh, it was. At, you don't gotta give us the year. Don't worry about it. Yeah, <laughs> what you saying? <laughs> it was in um, in Newark, New Jersey, Clinton Avenue. It was on the corner. It was. What the fuck a, you was doing? It was. A, <laughs> it was a block party. It was. In a, it was in a hall. St. Rocco's. That's it was in a hall. All yeah, right. St. Right. Rocco's. Yeah. How, well, I don't even want to say how old you was. Yeah, how old you were? I was fourteen. Yeah. yeah I was fourteen. Yeah. And you knew then that you know what? I'm gonna play music. And rock the world for the rest of my life. Yeah, from when I was ten. When I was ten, I wanted to. Yeah, I just come, I just ain't had the equipment and stuff, you know. Because when I was ten, my sister's three years older than me. She graduated eighth grade. She wanted to throw a little house party for the graduation. My parents let her. We was in the basement, and she knew I loved music, so she told me to pick out the music. So I bought like five records, okay. and then like five people turned into seventy five people, and they were like, "You're gonna keep playing the same five records." <laughs> and then and the homeboy up the street, oh, his name was Bass. He came over. He was like, "You ain't no DJ," and he brought the speaker with a with a um, a tape player and play, was playing his mixtapes. And he was standing by the speaker like that. <laughs> I, I had a feeling fresh. Was gonna be like, and his other band was like that. And his other man was like this. Play that. <laughs> <laughs> and all all the like all my sister's friends was on him, and I was just like. Uh, I won't be that. All right, all right. So, you know, and now, what, now I'm Bobby Trends on Hot 97, shaking a block. Okay. Oh, Do you remember the uh, your first gig? Your my first, first gig. My first gig. Yeah. You was like, holy shit. Damn. I don't remember my first gig. That's crazy. This nigga been DJing since. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even smoke yet. Damn. Um, I want to say... Um, I, I used to open up for Cypher Sounds. All right. Not even not even first DJ. How about your first time on Hot 97? When you when you got that call and it was oh. like, yo, get the fuck out the club and come into the radio station, yeah, I bro. I fucked it up. I fucked it all up. And they told me I'd never be on the radio ever again in my life. It was crazy. All the it. girls used to be at the DJ booth. Crazy. <laughs> Play my song, please. You know, I, I, I remember Flex called me and he was just like, I want you to fill in for me. Yeah. And and but it was like four hours on a Friday night and I was just like, oh shit. Well you had a feeling for four hours. Yeah. First time. For Funk Flex. Yeah. It's like coming in for Michael Jordan real and, quick. And it was still vinyl. So all right. Yeah. It wasn't the nah. man said right. But no, there was still buttons, but yeah. it was a computer and I didn't know how to use it. Okay. So like I'm playing a fat man scoop record, the one the one that goes, Who's fucking the night? Who's mm-hmm. fucking the night? And I played the dirty version by mistake. <laughs> on, he said, fire me. Live on the radio. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit. And so, so I was like panicking and I kept like, so I'm trying to find a vinyl to like replace it. And I'm like bringing the volume down. I'm like, who's tonight? Who's? And I'm trying to find the record. And, and I couldn't find the record. So I just stopped the record with my hand. And it was like, zzz, zzz. and I was like, and I took the needle off and I flipped the record to the clean side. Cause it was it was labeled wrong actually. Right, right, it was right. just like some bootleg shit. So blame, then I threw the, it on. Blame the record label. I got you. And um, so I thought that was really the reason why I got in trouble. But it wasn't even that because there was another DJ there that our program director I found out later wasn't really fucking with. And that DJ came to help me, mm. and she was like, "Are you all right?" And I was like, "No." 
right. And she was like, did, did you give out the prize? I'm like, what prize? I don't even know what to do. And I was only a half an hour in. I had another three and a half hours to go. This is your first time, First bro. time. And she was like, no, let me do it. So she went on the mic and she was like, hi, this is such and such. And my boy Bobby Trans is DJing. And we're giving away these tickets to Summer Jam. And you should call us up right now. You know the number. Oh, she, all right. She came through. She says. didn't. Because what she didn't know was that the boss didn't like her. And then his whole <laughs> shit was, he sent Flex an email and said, Bobby Trends, never again. Uh, he would never be on the shit, radio. Yeah. So, and I already had put so much work in, like street work and club work. And I'm thinking I made it, and then they just slapped me to the floor. So it's so like it took me like another year to even like be considered. Oh, for real? Yeah, like it was tough because I felt like homie just had Wait, it. Wait, so me. oh shit! So you got yeah. on, then left. They yeah, like, you, they but got... I, but I but I I used to work for Flex. Okay. So like I was always in the mix, kind of like around. You know, so um, I just knew I had to work harder. I'm just, I just got to work harder. So it took you a year to come back. It took me another year to even be considered. After, after that. I just knew, like. Was it that bad, though? What you did? Like, you I stopped didn't, the see, I didn't think so. <laughs> you stopped the record with No, so hand. it wasn't even that. Oh. So, I, so like, I found out later, because cause I said I said to Flex, I said, Flex, I said, why? Like, he, so he heard me mess up. He was just like. What are you talking about? And I was like, when I played the curses, he was like, oh, I didn't hear that. And I'm, he's like, I don't think he heard that either. And I'm mm. like, so what did I do wrong? Because I don't know what I did wrong. And he and he and then later he was he found out he was like, he don't. It's, it was your chance. It was your chance. You let somebody on a show, on your show without permission. Oh, right. So like it's very yeah. like guarded, like your shows and stuff. Like like even my show now, I can't just put anybody in my show. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Like, but. You know, but but it made it worse that he didn't rock with homegirl, so that's you know, was what it was. But I really think that he had it out for me too, though. But you know, like it don't even matter because you're there now and you're, yeah. still, you're killing it right now, bro. Thank you, I appreciate it, man. Fucking killing it. Bro. Don't ever give up. Yeah, for real. Yeah, that, that's a, that, that's that's it right there. Don't ever give up because yeah, you fucking killing it right now. And I appreciate the. Uh, Love you be you be shouting me out and shit sometimes and shit, so man. Good, man. You and Flex be like one of the few people that be you know. Now we we Throwing appreciate you for there. what you do, man. Like, uh, thank you, man. You had me dying. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Fucking Rico, appreciate like Rico, where, where, where Rico went? Rico went. Rico's on revolt. Rico's on revolt. <laughs> Rico's, Rico's on, revolt. on revolt. Yeah, bro. Oh, fuck with Rico, <laughs> man. You see Rico on revolt, bro. It's gonna be crazy. Did you find that? Did Rico find the wig like on purpose? Or was it like it was a surprise? Like, oh no, nah, this I wig that. right here. I planned it. I'm dead at Or was it like five wigs and you tried them all on and then yeah, it was just like this one? People, I used to go into the beauty supply store and they look at me crazy like this big dude looking for a blonde or black silky wig. <laughs> Yo, I thought it was just for IG, and then one day you came to a party that I was DJing host, and it was hosted by Rico. Yeah, bro. And Rico came out. I almost passed out. Yeah, I, got, I was I like, got a fan. I was like, Rico. I opened up for TKA one time, man. I was like, that was yeah, like a blessing, Maria? bro. Yeah, bro. Maria. Yeah. As Rico, I was lit, bro. It was lit. <laughs> what about um DJ Beef? You ever get into DJ Beef? Um, all my life. Yeah? Yeah. Like, well, why? don't play that song. I'm supposed to play that song tonight. Yeah. Are you, are you talking about like, <laughs> or, or like with other DJs? Yeah, like, no, but you know what it was is that come up, like, I came up under Flex. Okay. Pause. No, go ahead, bro. But, I understand. But... <laughs> Thank you, but a lot of people wouldn't. So before y'all attack me, <laughs> so what happened I heard was him that. What he said now, nah, guys. <laughs> See, no nah, good. So every like at the time I wasn't on the radio, and there were a lot of other DJs that weren't on the radio yet, and we were all trying to figure out how to get on the radio. Mm. So if so if I'm next to the biggest DJ in the planet at the time, right. everybody thinks I'm gonna be next because I got some type of like. Cheat code or some shit. Yeah. So I didn't have a team, and those DJs were parts of a team. So then they all kind of just focused their competitiveness against me, where it became actually like difficult, where I was getting blackballed from clubs. Mm. Like I could go to a club, fuck that shit up, have artists come out. I wasn't even on the radio yet, but I just I had like artist relationships and all that shit because I kept myself in a Circle, like, I always said, if you want to be the biggest, be around the biggest. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I would have been DJing next to 
DJ Hamburger, then I yeah, you get no cheese. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's a good one. Like, what's wrong with you? I like Gouda cheese. Gouda cheese, but like vegan Gouda cheese. Uh, vegan? Yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, whatever, bro. Smoked <laughs> Gouda. Smoked, Smoked Gouda. Gouda's. Yeah, it's Gouda. Very Gouda. It's very Gouda. Very Gouda. <laughs> so, so, so because of that, it was just like, um, you know. Where I, where I come from, the things that were being done normally would ensue a fight. Okay. And then at one point- How many records, like like a ninja star, you would throw well, them at people? Definitely. I mean, artists, artists records, like if you want to play your record and you're disrespectful, <laughs> I'll take your record and frisbee that shit across the club. <laughs> Like I've gotten into it. Like and then some people <coughs> some 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 rappers have been like, Oh, this motherfucker crazy, never mind. I'm the Or some be like, You threw my fucking shit And then everybody would come around and I had to defend myself. So how so, about when the uh, rappers be like, Yo, don't play that song, I got beef with him. Oh, I didn't care. Yeah. I'ma keep it a thousand. Uh, I I've been around when I first started, it was around fifty cent time. Okay. And I would play the entire 50 Cent record has album, all the songs back to back, <laughs> and Murder Inc. would be in the building. And I was friends with them too. Oh man. But they would be like, it wouldn't be like Ja Rule and like Irv Gotti, it'd be like their mans. Oh wow. And then they would come and be like, yo, my bro, damn, like I'll fuck with play, you, why you doing it? Why you playing I play, Spell Pussy in the club? <laughs> You gonna play eight fifty cent songs back to back, bro? Come like on, you mad disrespectful? And and I would say, listen, when y'all got some heat, I'm gonna play too. I don't care who's in the club. I'm gonna play what I play. You know, one one valuable thing I learned is, and, and I'm gonna pass it on to every DJ: don't ever let anybody put you under pressure. No matter what, you got to figure out how not to let that happen because once you let w- one person in, then the floodgates open, and then you might as just quit. Play my song. So I got in the fist fights, all types of shit. Like I lost a tooth one time. Damn, so bro. I got an ear split. <coughs> you know, like, For not playing somebody's record? No, no, no. That was some other shit, bro. Oh, right. I I was that's when I was first coming, I was still a hot head. This nigga played a song that made my girl <laughs> shake her ass, man, hard, and it was crazy. <laughs> but the, but the video, the security let me watch the video. It was a good video, it was a good fight. Oh man, I gotta see yeah, that. It was a good fight. I, see that. I wish I could get that video. Damn. I want it now. You said Murder Inc. Speaking of Murder Inc., we're gonna go off topic real quick. Do you think the Knicks lost because of Ja Rule? That's what 50 said. He said, I'm just he, saying. Nah. He was holding that. No, NBA I think this is, this, is a, this is a Knicks curse, man. I don't know what that shit is about, but if they ever get it close, everybody gets happy. It's like, yo, man, at least they made it here. It's like we won already. How I many people say that shit? <laughs> yeah, true. Because so, we already gave I up. I didn't even wanna say nothing. I was scared if I said something, they was gonna lose. I was so frustrated. It was Ja Rule's fault, though, bro. I'm telling you. It's not nice, man. He was there holding the trophy. Like, <laughs> Baby, say yeah. Would you ride for me? Come on, bro. You fucked it up for New York, bro. That shit is like. Damn, but why does 50 Cent go so hard? Why is he so crazy? He, that nigga crazy. I be crazy too, bro. That nigga probably half Puerto Rican, bro. On the low. You? Me? Yeah, might be cousins. Nah. What would probably. What would nah. 50 Cent's Puerto Rican name be? 50 Cent. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're crazy. Dope Dope Yeah. What's wrong with you, man? You think if 50 Cent was Puerto Rican, he'd be as big as he is? No? The Pons? last biggest rapper, Spanish rapper we had was Pun. Pun. Right? Yeah. So so what's the what's the top ten Latin rappers? Latino. What's the la- what's the top ten Latino rappers? Is it ten? Not a Damn. We. So I'll probably say Pun. Pun. Nori Joe. Pun Nori Joe. We, we, can we clean, uh, throw in Dave East in there? He's half Dominican, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why is it so hard? Why is it so tough? Oh, Fab see. Fab's half. Yeah, but he's black though. But it's, no, Fab's, Fab's, black. Like, Fab's black. He's not Dominican. Fab's like half black. Half Dominican? Yeah. Half Dominican. Yeah. Nori's half black, half Puerto Rican. Jim Jones is Puerto Rican and a Reuben. What? His mother's from Aruba, his father's from Puerto oh, Rico. Oh, I didn't know that. Why is this so difficult? 
to be honest, I, I really don't think it's about race sometimes in the industry. I think it's you got to hit or you don't. Yeah. That's a fact. That's, that's what you I gotta think. You work hard. You know what I mean? But when you Maybe. get up there, th that's when the race so, comes. So do you think that there's a there's a shortage of Latinos trying to rap? I feel like we know. No, I think, I feel no, like no, I no. I think there's a shortage of Latinos in the game, in the industry. I don't think we have a lot. Because I feel like there's a million rappers out there that's all ethnicities, right? Who's the last Spanish rapper we had? That was out what? CJ? Six nine? Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Six nine is Mexican. CJ is what? I think he's like Puerto Rican Dominican, I think. Okay. I don't know what he is. But right now, yeah, recently, no, nah, nothing right now, bro. Wait, Jordan Lucas. Jordan Lucas? He ain't Spanish, he ain't have Spanish son. Nigga <laughs> had them curls. He got them Spanish curls. <laughs> them curls, you can't get curls yeah. like that now. <laughs> Spanish. See, but now there's Latin trap artists. But yeah. They, but it's not English. It's just like straight like. But it's getting a little mixy like ch like Chimmy. Yeah, Chimmy's nice. Chimmy nice, right? Chimmy nice. But we got to like, it's like we got to think really hard like to like. But that's like a whole nother genre. That's not like, I mean, it's it's like hip hop like influenced. No, it's, it's, I think it's segregated to me. Why you say that? I think it's more. I think hip hop is more black and white. More black and white. More more black and white than Spanish. Than Spanish. I don't. I, I think that's what it is. So white rappers. Eminem. When you talk about white rappers, I be thinking about uh, what's his name that got the award for the best rap album. Jack Harlow or Mac Mac Miller. I was Mac so support. I was so surprised that about was, that, bro. That, that 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 really bothered me. I forgot who was on on the lineup. That he that he won. He won. Yeah, he beat Kendrick. He, he yeah, he beat Kendrick. Yeah, that was wild. I know, but what I'm saying is, what's surprising about that in every single genre? But it, it's surprising. It, it's no, no. It's, it's surprising, but it's not surprising because we knew he was gonna win. In all reality, we knew he was gonna win. You know, because he's white. And <laughs> right. Well, well, it's it is. So hip hop is black music, right? right? But it was. But, but some of the. See, but see, you, you, see right you, there what if, you just said. Hip hop is black music. Well, it's, hip -hop it started was, as black music. No, no, no. It was with black and Spanish people together in the fucking right. Bronx. No, so I was getting there. So I was getting there. <laughs> oh, right, right, right. So right. like, but but here's it. So that's the argument. So Spanish people aren't black. Mm -hmm. But we are. Right. And so black but, people but, are there, but there's Spanish people that don't want to say they're black. Right. And then. Sometimes an African American person might get mad that a Spanish person is saying they're black, or they might get mad that they say they're not black. Right. But there's, I guess, there's fine lines. This is, this is a lot. It is a lot. You and then, like, be, and like, uh, I like mean, me personally, I don't think I'm Spanish enough for the Spanish people, and I ain't black enough for the black people. So I, I fall like in I, right I, between, and I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who I am. <laughs> I mean, I, but I feel like I grew up like that. Yeah. Also, you know what I'm saying? So like, like I grew up in a black neighborhood. Bro, when I asked you what your nationality was, I'm still not going to even say it because I'm going to let everybody else guess. Hmm. I was surprised because I thought you were something else. Well, I I never really put it out there like that. Mm -hmm. You know, like I um, I don't tell people my nationality. There's people that know. And that people that know where I'm from, that are from the same place, they be like, you. You. <laughs> but I just, I realized something, um, I guess as I was coming up, that like, people don't need to know too much information um, when you're trying to make it. Yeah. That, that, for, at least for my formula. You Maybe wanna, that don't no, apply no, no, to everybody. I, I guess you want to keep like a little bit of an exclusivity. I think I think mystery is great. Yeah, I think people love mystery. They're like, damn, like <laughs> people are gonna watch and be like, where is he from? I was in Miami one time, and these <laughs> and these three bad ones came up to me, and they were like, Bobby Trent, what's up? Yeah, where you from? And I was like, what you mean? And I already knew where they was going. <laughs> I played like, music, no, like, girl. <laughs> like, what's your nationality? Like, and what borough are you from? Like, and I'm like, why? And they're like, well, I can't even like 
Google that shit. Like, you ain't got no wiki. You know, I'm like, no, I'm yeah, I'm dead. like, I, I planned it that way. Like, I won't. It says DJ Bobby Trends from Parts of Unknown. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just feel like, I feel like people judge a lot. Like, I feel like, like when I was coming up on the Flex, I opened up for him and black promoters, I, it, it were black parties. Black promoters would be like, oh shit, it's really you playing all night. And Flex comes in and plays for us one or two hours. And I'm like, yeah, they're like, damn, you like, you're a fire ass DJ. Can I book you for my party? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, but you're not gonna play that reggaeton shit, right? And I'm just like, yo, have you ever heard me play a reggaeton record in the fucking club? Why are you saying that to me? You know, cause you um you Spanish, right? And I'm just like, am I? <laughs> Find out next time. <laughs> of parts of unknown with Bobby Trans. <laughs> but so so like I did mostly black parties. And then I found a way to start getting booked in Spanish parties. Mm. That's a whole nother long story. But I put myself around two other Spanish DJs and we started a group called Three the Hardway. Okay. Shout the Cast One and Big Ben. So at the time, downtown New York City, there were a lot of big Latin parties. So I knew if we we had, we, we had a show together on 97, it was late night, mm -hmm. and we branded it as a group. And I, t and I said to them, I said, they're going to start booking us together. And I was just like, I'm going to get into these Spanish clubs because I want to do everything. So I started doing, so the promoters like, oh, we want to book three the hard way, and we'll call Big Ben and Cast One. And they be like, but Bobby Trends, he's not going to make it too dark in here, right? What the fuck? Because they didn't know what I looked like, or they didn't know my ethnicity, or they didn't know nothing. Or the or the DJs, or, or the promoters would be like, Bobby Trans, he's not gonna make it to hood in here, is he? Oh man. And then I would get and, and they were like, well, wait till you meet Bobby Trans. And I'll pull up to the club and they were like, Oh shit, you Bobby Trans, yo, I thought you was black. <laughs> and then I and I'll be like, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. And they were like, what the fuck? <laughs> so then I go inside. Am I black? And it's, you know, when I say a Latin party, that doesn't mean that it's like ricky dicky dicky all night, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like I'm playing hip hop. It's just a Latin crowd that want hip hop music, but they might want a little Spanish. So I'll play a Spanish song, and I say like two words in Spanish, and the same promoter be like, I thought you was white. What? I thought you was Albanian. Who are you? <laughs> so for me, it was just like the black promoters didn't want to book me because I was too Spanish, and then the Spanish promoters didn't want to book me because I was too black. <laughs> So I, which is what you said earlier, made me like feel like you know. So for me, I'd rather not say my ethnicity, even though I'm proud to be where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, you know, I, I, I'm gonna say it one day. Like, I'm really talk about. It, I'm gonna really like celebrate it. Cause, and cause I still feel like I have a lot of work to do. I like, hear you. you know what I'm saying? I like, hear you. I hear you. and like, if I was in the Bronx, people from the Bronx would be like, Are "You from Brooklyn?" I'm like, "Yeah." yeah. People from Brooklyn say, "Are you from the Bronx?" I'm like, yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, I'm from Jersey. Nah, when people assume what I am, I tell them, yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I'm like, you know what I'm saying? They're like, Arabic, yeah. they're like, you Puerto Dominican, Rican, Jamaican, yeah. like Sean Paul, right? I'm just like, I didn't know you was Puerto <laughs> Rican, Jamaican. Because he's not. Are you white, white African, like uh, French Montana? Are you Palestinian? Because I be around Khaled. But but why but why you ask, like so for me, <laughs> it's not that when people are asking, it's not that they're some people. Why do you it's, care? It's why do you think they're asking? But some people are really just curious. So it, it might not be anything like any hidden agenda. I think some people just be like, but that's the part I like. I like the mystery part. Like, cause they're like, it's a topic of conversation. You know, when, when you, if you do Google me, it'll say, what is Bobby Trent's ethnicity? It'll say that's one of the questions that people ask. For real? Yeah. Oh, dang, you know, like, bro. yeah. And, and then there's no answer. So I don't know how I controlled it, but I controlled it. I guess because I never say it. Like Subscribe, on, and like, I'll tell you. 24 <laughs> hours. We're going to say it at the end, so watch the whole thing. Yeah, right, right. right. We'll say it at the end, maybe. maybe. We don't know. Maybe. Since you was like caught up in both worlds, so how, how do you think you found success in being like where you at now? Well, to be honest with you, I just feel like all of that just meant that I just had to work hard. Like, I can't blame me not reaching a certain place on my ethnicity, I I blame it on I wasn't working hard enough. Mm. So you got to, no matter who you are, look at Khaled. Khaled is Palestinian. He's at the top of the game. But I'm sure he had to go through certain things to get there. But he also has like a unique, 
personality. So I think people just fuck with him in general, like from off rip. But that's a question I would love to ask him, like next time I see him. I'm just like, yo, did you have any issues? Because I thought he was Spanish too. Coming from, a lot he of people thought because he was on some TS shit. Word, he was on TS. <laughs> I said, "Oh shit, a Puerto Rican DJ, nice." <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> but, yeah, so just work hard. Are there days that like that you don't want to DJ? I always want to DJ. You always want to DJ. I always want to DJ. Yeah, I'm always like, that's like my um, it's like my my when when if anything else is going wrong in my life, mm -hmm. the music. That's what brings me happiness. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. Like, like you'll never know what I'm going through when I'm DJing. Because mm. I'm always going to be at the top. You ain't never going to hear a whack set from me. Never. I, I, I have, like, good yeah, sets and then I have incredible sets. I don't know about bad sets. So, you know, that's my, that's like my, I don't know what the word is. It's like my escape. Not escape. Because I ain't escaping from shit. It's your world, bro. Yeah. It's your world. Like, that's, okay. What's the best party you ever did? The best party I ever like, did. It's got to be a most memorable party. I got a couple. But I remember um, I did this, um, it was this club. One, my first big residency in New York City was a spot called Club Envy. Mm. And so like some people might think that like best party means that all these celebrities were there or artists. For me, best party was my performance, like the biggest reaction, the best, like, um, you know, my best sets. So at Club Envy, it was a grand closing, and it was a legendary club. Mm -hmm. And they already had kicked me off that party a year before, off some sucker shit, whatever, on Sundays. So I started doing Wednesdays okay. and became the promoter, whatever. So... Grand closing, we are, the promoter put my name on the flyer and then asked me to, right? Mm -hmm. So so my best sets yeah, there we go. is what like defines what my best party was. And it was a grand closing. So the grand closing, the promoter did some sucker shit, and he put my name on the flyer even though I wasn't, I wasn't part of the party anymore. Mm, all right. So I was like, I'm not going there. That's fucked up, blah, 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 whatever. And one of my boys had said to me, he said, nah, just show up. It don't matter you're not getting paid, no matter like that he did the sucker shit. That's your house, no matter like you were there for three years every Sunday, yeah. DJing from 10 p.m. to 4 a.m. yourself. Go in there and show people why you yeah. how, you know what you do. So I went and um it was DJ Will. Shout out to Will. It was Big Cap. God bless the dead. And I didn't have any records with me. And I told Cap, I said, no, it was um, another kid named Flavor. So I asked Flavor, I said, Flavor, I said, yo, you got these five records? He's like, yeah. So I picked the five records that I knew were the biggest records that I ever played in that club. Mm. And I shut the music off. And Cap was on. I said, Cap, I'm going to get on fast. He was like, cool. I shut the music off. And he was just like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> I was just like... And I just started talking shit. And I was like, I've been here for three years, and I'm going to show you the biggest records I've ever played in this fucking place. And I think it was Jay-Z, public service announcement. It was 50 Cent, what up, gangster. It was Dipset Anthem. Mm. It was, nice. it was, I really mean it, and Certified Gangster. I want to say it was those five records. Mm -hmm. And that place exploded. And I think it was my energy and the way I was talking shit. <laughs> and then I said, that's how you fuck this club up. And I threw the mic on the floor. And all I remember is people hanging off of pipes from the ceiling doing the one eye willy I'm dead. and was acting crazy. And then somebody took a magnum size rose bottle or whatever the fuck it was at the time and threw that shit across the fucking club and it made a hole in the wall the size 
<laughs> of a midget. <laughs> of a little person. And everybody was like, yeah! <laughs> everybody started breaking the walls. Oh, yeah, because it was the last day. That's it. Yeah, the walls, the, all the walls were being broken. And the oh, owner was man, sitting there. hard that night. The owner was sitting there. He looked like he was high off of cocaine. He was like, ah, <laughs> And like, Uncle T, he was like, yo, this is fucking awesome. This is fucking great. <laughs> yeah, it was like, it was just like so crazy. And I just, and I just walked down the stairs and I left. And that shit was just like, it was just like, one of my most memorable, like, like that's my one of my like I want to say top three yeah. uh, moments in the class. What about what about Bobby Trends now, man? What you what you up to now, man? Man, I'm up to a lot, man. Um, you know I, I've grown this Shake the Block brand. Yeah, that I know is set that's me a Shake apart. the Block, man. Shake the Block, man. So, you know, Shake the Block means so many things. Like it's just it has become besides the block shaking. Yeah, <laughs> hey, music, nah. Like it, I really, I really created it um, because when I when I made it to the radio, mm -hmm. I was already in the clubs fucking shit up. But it was just like when I got to the radio, I felt like I ended up. Well, I was the the bottom of the ladder because at the time it was Flex, it was Mr. C. God bless Mr. C. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Um, it was K Slay, rest in peace. Rest in peace. It was Who Kid, it was Clue, it was Envy, it was Green Lantern, it was Absolute, yeah, that it was, was that. Camillo, that was DJ Enough. DJ Errors, bro. We had an incredible roster and they were all legends. And here comes little Bobby Trends. And there was Bobby Connors and Jabba also. So people used to confuse me and Bobby Connors. Yo, I thought he was Jamaican. Bro. Exactly, see? I thought he was Jamaican. Bomba Clyde. <laughs> I thought he was Jamaican for the longest. Yeah. So, so that what happened. So, like, I feel like there's a certain age demographic that grew up on Bobby Condas that be like, "Yo, Bobby Trends, why you ain't play reggae tonight?" I'm just like, "That's Bobby Condas." And hey, yo, Bobby Trends, where Jabba at? I'm like, "That's Bobby Condas." But oh, what happens man. now? The 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 younger generation. Now when they see Bobby Connors, they be like, Bobby Connors, shake the block. He be like, that's Bobby Trends. Well, I'm dead. So the, so the tables are turning. But I just had this difficulty, and I'm like, how do I stand out? And somebody said the word shake the block to me. It was an intern. He was like, you, shook the, you were shaking the block last night. I was like, the fuck you said? And I was like, yo, I need that. <laughs> he went home. Shake the block. <laughs> shake the block. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, I, so I went to the radio and I was just like, the next time I'm on the radio, I'm going to say it. And I was like, you know, I said, we shaking the block tonight on 97. I was like, I want to know a block I'm shaking. Call me up, 1-800, you know the number. And that's the most famous number in the world, by the way, I think. I don't even have to say it. Everybody knows the number. So so people, the phone lines lit up. And they were like, yo, you shaking Tremont Ave. Yo, you shaking Southern Boulevard. You shaking Fulton. Yo, you shaking Queens Boulevard. That shit was crazy. So... I realized that it was powerful and it wasn't about me, it was about everybody else. Mm -hmm. So I always made it, I always said I was gonna make it his own thing. There's Bobby Trends and the Shake the Block. But you, but you but you get it. They're like, you know, when you see it, you know it's me. But now I have a team of I think like eighteen DJs. And and I, even before that, it was like we had like two hundred like goons and like yeah, some people yeah, yeah. were like Graffiti writers. Some people were like BMX kids. Some people were like motorcycle now you got people. Eighteen DJs. And um, it's it's really just like how do you? It's it's about being passionate about what you love. You gotta get all of them a gift on Christmas and shit. Nah. Right. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, I throw a nice holiday party. You came to my holiday party. Oh yeah, bro. Word. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, go to I, I feel party, like you are, like you an honorary shake the block guy. Yeah, you know, I've been yeah. I've been fucking with you for years, man. For yeah, real though. Yeah, yeah, double mean? dab. You got that's the shake the block. Uh, uh, that's the shake. So that's you know, but that's the you know. So when you see the shakes, you do that. I got you. You know, you need chain. Need Shout chain out to the shakes, man. You know? <laughs> Shout out to the shakes. Well, yeah, man. Wait, so wait, and, and shake the block. Hold up, pop. shake, shake the block, pop. pop. High tolerance. You could throw that. You could throw the shake the block logo on anything. You could put it on a can. This is nice, and it's, it smoked nice too, man. Like that? Yeah, it was good, bro. Yeah, it was good, I bro. I didn't light mine up. Sorry, you don't have to. I'll probably smoke it later. Oh, okay. Don't care, you know? I'm a lightweight. <laughs> but, but shout out to High Tolerance, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, shout out um, to High Tolerance. Those guys, man. They, um, shout out to them. You know, we have a nice collaboration going on. I and, see um, it. And yeah, I sponsored this episode. Y'all got me lit. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> and it's being received well. So, um, word, word. so I'm excited for that. But Yo, Wait, wait, wait. And I also saw on your IG, you're a vegan, bro. Yeah. You don't like steak? 
I mean, I, I used to like steak. <laughs> right now, you don't eat it? Nah, I used to, like, make three, like, skirt steaks a week, like, on my grill outside, and I just stopped. So, um, like, but now what I do is I make things that are similar. Like hamster food. That's what you eat? <laughs> wood flakes? <laughs> that nice, man. <laughs> wood flakes is crazy. I wonder if there's nutrients in wood flakes. I don't, nah, know, I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. nutrients. Uh, no, but to no, be but honest with you, I do have some bark in my house. Bark? You, you think I'm playing? I have bark from special trees that are like, it's like medicine. So you put the bark in your, in your tea. It's like, like, um... Yo, Hembe bark and things like that. It's like stuff like, you know, it's different, different herbs. I'm still learning. I'm not your Hembe bark, right. I'm just saying. But right. but there's like certain like herbs that just are good for you, you know? I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at yeah, that. There's like no. granny backbone. There's Excuse me? There's um, <laughs> You said granny's backbone? There's something called granny backbone. It's good for the, you know what I mean? All right. I mean, okay. and, and, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's um, strong back. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I don't think these are the scientific names, but this is what 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 they some of the people name. I don't know. I'm gonna take yeah. that one. Yeah, <laughs> there's a couple. You know, there's, a, there's some some good stuff out there. You man. got some vegan stuff on you too, right? Today? Oh, you know what? I think it's lunchtime because everybody been smoking. So everybody got the munchies. We about to try some vegan food. So I wanna. Uh, so I Let's brought move, you some stuff here. What we got right I, here? I want you to. I want you to read it. And let people know what's that. Spicy tuna. It's not tuna. It's tuna. Tuna. Yeah, hold on. And there's a. So this is not real fish. What is this? It's spicy tuna. Is it supposed to be fish? There's ingredients on there. You can read the ingredients. Hold on, I see it. I see it. So it's supposed All to natural. taste like spicy tuna. It's supposed, but it's not tuna. Nah, just vegetables crushed so, up. So we're gonna try this. So it's split in half, so you can have half of that. All right. And this is wal walnut pesto. Yeah. Yeah, this is like hamster food right here. <laughs> I think you're gonna like this one better than you like that one. Do you uh, like regular tuna? I eat anything though. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna hold that. Uh, I'm not allergic to nothing. Uh, there's nothing. I'm fat and it's different on this side. <laughs> we eat anything. <laughs> because, but you know what? I think you should try this one first. Try this. All right, let's try, try this one first. Because yeah. I, I just, my, my gut it's feeling gone. is that you're gonna like that better than this. Spicy tuna. And then I want you to, um, I always believe in eating the best thing last. So, so this is not tuna. It's just tuna. I don't want to put my fingers in your food, but I'm, so I'm going to just go like it's this. It's all right, but don't worry about it. You're vegan. Your hands are different. Let me get it. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> your hands work I'm vegan, so my hands are different. <laughs> hey, man. Listen, buddy. <laughs> this is a family show. Hold on. We're going to try this right here. Spicy I'm, tuna. Uh, not this. spicy tuna. Vegan tuna you fish. You get a close up on that? That's like, look at it. Like, Should we get a little, I don't know, later you or something? A, you could just do 3D? Like, yeah, y'all those zoom in on it later. What does it smell like? It smell like, I don't know. Yo, you're getting mommy's mantel dirty, man. What's wrong with That's you? That's why I got the plastic on it so I could clean it. You ready, bro? You got the plastic because you're Puerto Rican. Half. Right? Half? You yeah. got Puerto Rican? Yeah, bro. You'll never guess the other half. Find out next time. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Might not be your favorite bread. Hmm? <laughs> hmm. It's interesting. Ah, no, it's not. <laughs> no, not it. <laughs> fuck, man, fuck. <laughs> Good to stop it, man. You send a bad example. Shit for the is missing steak or something yeah. in there, bro. <laughs> <sighs> he likes it secretly. All right. I'm going to give you something better. It's more vegan food, bro. Man, come on, man. Put that in there, man. What's wrong with you? <laughs> she can really like it, man. That's what I'm running with. I'm running with that. All right. This one. <laughs> Jesus. They didn't even throw no salt pepper on that shit, bro. There's all types of good shit in there, man. Yeah. Mm hmm this has no meat, and I like it. You like meat? Oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> How's that? You know what? The pesto saved it. You going to like that better? The pesto saved it. I'm 1% Italian. You didn't know that, though. Mm. The pesto mm. 
My Re- father used to make pesto with his feet back in 88. <laughs> Some people don't know, but that I'm just telling the cheese, because you know this. The cheese. <laughs> me- the cheese. <laughs> so you know pesto has cheese in it. Oh, yeah? There's no cheese in that pesto. Mm. Now nah, you don't like it. You fucking asshole. You're right. I don't. <laughs> but he's... <laughs> He put it back on the on the tissue though. That means that he likes it because he's gonna eat it anyway. I might, but it's good. Yeah. Have a good night, bro. Good <laughs> Have a good Sick. night, bro. That's it, bro. All right, it's over. Fucking Bobby Trends, bro, with vegan food. Mm-hmm. One of the best DJs, you heard. My food. New sucks. York City is safe. <laughs> <laughs> New York City. See, I'm talking because I'm vegan now. I'm talking crazy. New York City is safe mm-hmm. with Bobby Trends. You hear me? Check the block, baby. Check the block, man. Have a good night, bro. Have a good night. It's been a pleasure, yo. Boom. Good times.